it is day two of the strike by traders and most of the streets are emptier than yesterday when they started. Most of the shops are under key and lock. The traders are protesting against the rollout of the electronic fiscal receipting and invoicing solution. The streets are filled with hawkers who have grasped the opportunity to reap what they can in the absence of the retailers. Two separate meetings have so far been held between the traders and three separate government ministries, that of trade, industry and cooperatives, finance, planning and economic development, and that of Kampala Capital City Authority Affairs. However, these have failed to address the impasse. Unfortunately, the meeting, the way it has ended, you find that it's like the traders have rejected the opening of the shops. Though there are some who are suggesting, but basing on the democratic way, the majority have refused to open their shops. So Among the issues that have come out of these meetings by traders and government officials is for the IFRI system to be paused for a moment. However, the government has insisted that they will continue to roll out the IFRI system except that there will be massive sensitization. Secondly, the traders want that the VAT is reduced from 18% to 16%. And finally, they want the threshold for the VAT registered businesses to be increased from 150 million to 1 billion shillings. Before the operational issues, they also have issues of taxes which are charged in kilos against the values. And this now, for them, they are saying we don't sell clothes in kilos. Now, when you charge them taxes in kgs, it somehow has failed for them to understand and to harmonize. However, the traders say the meetings have had two concessions reached by the government, one of them having to do with the release of the impounded containers over tax penalties. The if these penalties to be scrapped off and even confirming that they are going to meet the, the president and even some of the leaders who were arrested to be released. So the meeting has brought some good results. The president, the traders requested to meet them and he has accepted. So he's going to meet them the day after tomorrow on Friday 19th from 10 o'clock at State House St. Tebe. So the requirement is simple. They have to go and do a COVID test and now we have tasked them to bring their list because we need around 100 people. Mr. Kabuye rebuked politicians for taking advantage of the situation. There's a lot of infiltration by politicians and opportunists whom they th who, who think if they, continue, if they convince the traders to continue closing down their businesses, they are going to affect the NRM government. But this is, uh, I'm now appealing to the traders that this is you. If only the scheduled meeting with the president on Friday will resolve the impasse, then it will mean that the traders would have gone for four days without working, and that is revenue lost. Jackson Onyango, NTV, at the Central Business District.